You know, when you look at the cross, what do you see? Starting this Sunday, March the 7th, I'm going to start an Easter sermon series entitled Through the Eyes. I'm going to be talking about how the disciples viewed Jesus and the cross through their eyes. I'm going to talk about how Barabbas saw the cross. I'm going to even talk about how the thieves, one on each side of Jesus, viewed the cross. And then I'm going to talk about how Jesus viewed the cross. If these eyes could speak in the seven sayings of Jesus on the cross on Good Friday, and then on that glorious Resurrection Sunday, I'm going to talk about how we see the cross through our eyes. Unprepared. Unprepared for life. Un unprepared for this this, these days in which we are living in, sometimes you just feel like life is just you're standing on shaky ground and you're just not sure if you can navigate forward because you're worried and you have anxiety and you're even fearful. I picked up a, a book off the shelf called Last Day Survival Guide by Rick Renner. It, say, it says it's a scriptural handbook to prepare you for these perilous times. The whole book it's kind of built on a premise of that, of that passage of scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that we are living in some perilous times. Listen, I believe that God has put on my heart to do two things. One, after Easter, I'm going to be starting a sermon series based on this book. And I'm going to be talking about different things of how to keep your head straight when things are going crazy. How to navigate in these last days. How to keep your eyes fixed and focused on Jesus to prepare ourselves for these last days. The second thing I'm going to do is on April the 7th, I'm going to start a discipleship curriculum. And this is, this is some serious discipleship stuff. This will prepare us to be able to stand on solid ground. You know, here at Grace, we are really serious about discipleship. And so on April the 7th, that's a Wednesday at 6.30, we're gonna start a great discipleship program. I believe it's gonna deliver. And so God has given us the ability to write a curriculum um, that we're gonna be using. And it's, it's based on three really important principles. And it's called Church Life Spiritual Growth. Three dynamics. Number one, how to connect. How to connect to God, how to connect to the church, how to connect to the world, especially during these perilous times. The second aspect is going to be growing. How do we grow in Christ? How do we grow in the church using our spiritual gifts? And how do we grow using those gifts to reach out to a lost and dying world to influence those that we have influence with? And then the third aspect is how to serve, how to serve God, how to serve in our church, and how to serve the world through compassion. And together, we can show and embrace the glory of Jesus Christ. After you finish that sermon series, keeping your eyes on the cross, how to prepare for these last days, and this discipleship program and curriculum that will help us to connect, grow, and serve, you're going to feel like you're standing on the rock in the Word of God, ready for battle. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you here at Grace Community.